My name is Emma Holland. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Canberra in the Australian Capital Territory. I currently work as a photo editor at a photography studio. I listened to a lot of comedy podcasts when I was in university because I spent a lot of time in dark rooms doing photography and I just decided I was going to try it. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time. My very first gig. Uh, it went pretty well, surprisingly, but someone came up to me afterwards and said, I really like your style of comedy because it always sounds like you're about to cry. So glad I pulled that off. <laughs> From Canberra, it's Emma Holland! Hello. I always like to start my sets by getting to know the audience. I like to find out what we have in common, find out what makes me relatable to you. So I've, uh, I've prepared some relatable questions to ask some of you guys. And if you, uh, if you don't mind, we'll just go through them and then we can get on with the set. Okay. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. How are you? What's your name? Angela. Where are you from, Angela? Bendigo. Oh, same. <laughs> Angela, yellow, white, green, or pink? <laughs> Angela, five or six? Six. All right, you ready for your uh, relatable question? Um, how did Mr. Squiggle contribute to your sexual awakening? <laughs> <laughs> Neither. <laughs> Hello, sir. What's your name? Paul. Where are you from, Paul? Melbourne. Oh, same. <laughs> Paul, yellow, white, green, or blue? Three or four? Four. Um, on what day of your menstrual cycle is the heaviest flow? <laughs> In case anyone's interested, mine is the Queen's birthday. <laughs> All right, we'll just do a couple more. Oh. Hello, sir, you look afraid. <laughs> uh, green, yellow, pink, or white? Green. One or two? Two. All right, if you had to fist a wiggle, <laughs> Why would it be Murray? <laughs> it's quite a loaded question, isn't it? <laughs> come, on, come back. We'll just do one more. One more. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, pink, green, white, or yellow? Pink. Five or six? Six. All right, this one is a fill in the blank, okay? Most of the worst drivers on the road are... <laughs> now, the correct answer is strict of their demerit points, so... <laughs> I feel like we know each other pretty well. <laughs> Get on with my set. Uh, I don't like emojis. I think there's too many of them and they're too hard to understand. And as a millennial, it's really embarrassing when I have to ask what they mean all the time. And I know there's some of you out there who feel the same and you're too embarrassed to ask, so I, I thought I'd give us a bit of a crash course on some of the harder ones to understand. <laughs> I think that's pretty obvious what that is, right? Yeah. That is uh, when a little ghost steals your nose. <laughs> Again, quite obvious. That is when a four-legged white sand crab sucks the soul out of your mouth. <laughs> um, this is when you wear a swimming cap too long and it morphs to your cranium. <laughs> um, this one is when you suck his dick so good he offers to buy you a Ferrari. I haven't 
use that one as much as I'd like to. <laughs> Um, this is when McDonald's fucks up your french fry. <laughs> uh, this is a snail. Uh, this is when your sad looking son is sentenced to death by icicles. <laughs> uh, this is when you're a practical communist. anything like that in my life. The laughter just comes in waves and it's very overwhelming. It comes from everywhere. <laughs>